What's up guys, welcome back to the Build Studio. My name's Chris, and today we're gonna to be installing and checking out a new accessory from Big Tree Tech that I think might be a game changer for those of you who own a Bamboo Lab P1P or P1S. In fact, this might be one of those must-have add-ons for anyone who owns one or two of these printers. This add-on is none other than this Panda Touch, which is a five inch LCD add-on and something that most of us P1P and P1S owners have been asking for for a long time now. Now, as most of you are aware, the P1P and the P1S perform just as well and have the same specs as the X1 Carbon. The only difference is that they don't have as many of the same bells and whistles that the X1 Carbon does. Now, in order for Bamboo Labs to cut costs and make the P1P and the P1S much more affordable, without impacting the overall quality and speed of the printer, they did have to remove certain features. Now one of those features is the LCD screen, which is something that we all love, which they replaced with this not as nice digital controller. Now what this Panda Touch accessory does is it connects and integrates into the controller to give you back the graphic display and the navigation control capabilities that we all love of the X1 Carbon. Now what's also good about this is that it also comes in at a pretty amazing price at around $59, which is super affordable and I think is a great investment just to get that digital display back. So stay tuned and we'll unbox this and set this thing up and see how well it works. Now if you're like me and you own a P1P and or a P1S 3D printer from Bamboo Lab, you probably appreciate the fact that both are amazing printers that perform just as well as the X1 Carbon, just at a more affordable price. For me, the only complaint that I have always had has been the control pad built onto the printer itself. Now don't get me wrong, it's not bad and it's able to get the job done, but for the most part, I simply just try to avoid using it and I automatically default to just using the software on my PC to control my print jobs. Now, when Big Tree Tech reached out to me with the opportunity to test out their low cost accessory add on, this Panda Touch LCD screen, I jumped at the chance knowing that I could use this LCD accessory to add back the X1C touch screen capability that I so love and miss. Now, I don't know exactly how it works or how well it'll work, but I'm definitely excited to try this thing out. So let's start by unboxing this to see what it comes with. Now, based on what I've been told and also from what I've seen in a demo, this thing should be fairly easy to set up and install. Now, in the box, you do get your five inch LCD screen, which does also have a detachable magnetic backplate that looks super high quality and also feels super durable. In addition to that, you do also get an accessory box that includes a hex tool, a mounting bracket, along with a USB cable and a few screws to secure this LCD to the bracket. In addition to that, you do also get your instruction manual, which will walk you through what I assume is gonna be an easy installation. Now, in addition to that, you do also get this Big Tree Tech sticker, which, you know, a lot of companies nowadays have all these little stickers that they come with their packages. And then this rubber ducky, which I'm not exactly sure what this is for, but I definitely can use this on my next cruise uh, since that's a popular thing on cruises to hide ducks for people to find. So something that you know works for me for one of my other channels. Okay, so looking at the instructions, it doesn't look too complicated. It looks like you take this bracket and you mount it to the top of the 3D printer itself, whether you wanna connect it to the P1P or the P1S. But for the most part, it's gonna go the same place there is a 3M adhesive sticker on it, so all you have to do, I assume, is just remove the sticker, mount it somewhere in the middle right here on either the P1P or the P1S, and then screw this tablet or the LCD screen into the bracket itself. Um, and because it is magnetic, you can't easily remove the screen because this screen is supposed to allow you to control the printer remotely as well. So. Definitely something that's very nice about this uh, LCD screen from Big Tree Tech. Uh, something also that the X1 Carbon does not have is remote uh, control of the 3D printer itself. 
So we'll test that feature out once we get this thing installed. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's make sure we've got everything we need for the instructions. So yeah, it looks like it tells you to mount the bracket first to the back plate, um, which you just do and it fits easy into the grooves of the back plate itself. There's this little groove as well as the screws that match up. So it's not easy to make a mistake. It's pretty dummy proof, I think. Okay, so we are going to just take one screw and just secure this thing. And they are indented, so the screws will sit pretty flush to the LCD screen itself. Okay, once that's done, the back plate and this bracket itself should be secure and it's not going anywhere. It does have additional screws, I guess, if you're gonna have a larger uh, mounting plate or even to screw in the screen itself if you just wanna secure this and make sure that the screen doesn't fall off. Although I don't think it will because these magnets are pretty strong. So I don't think that's something you're gonna to have to worry about. So you don't really need to screw this into the back plate itself to secure it. So I think those are gonna just be extra screws that are sitting around. Okay, and once that's done and you've got the bracket attached to the back plate, all you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the 3M tape on the bottom of the bracket itself. And then I did put the LCD screen on the bracket and the back plate just so I could make sure this thing is centered. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is place this with the little notches behind the screen. And I'm gonna to have to get to the front of this just to make sure this thing is straight because I want this even. And I think that's even. But once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to press it down to secure the bracket onto the chassis of either the P1P or P1S, whichever one you wanna install this on. Now, once that's done, you take the USB cable and you plug it into the back of the LCD screen itself. And then you run the cable through these little mounting clips on the underside of the printer itself. And you plug it into the USB port that's on the back end of the P1P or P1S that's covered by this little black sliver of tape. And it's all set up. Now, once you've got it installed, you do need to make sure you go on the back and set this thing on DC because it is plugged into the USB port and not operating off of batteries. And you also wanna make sure it's on. So on the back, there is a switch for you to switch it to DC because it is being powered by the printer itself. And once that's done, all you need to do is power this thing on and it should take you through an initial setup and configuration screen. So let's go ahead and power this printer on. And the LCD turns on and so does the uh, 3D printer itself. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get on this side. So it does switch between English and Chinese. There is an online manual. Please connect to the internet by selecting the Wi-Fi network. So you will need to set up your Wi-Fi. Um, and it looks like it's only connecting to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and not uh, 5 gigahertz bandwidth. So it does look like you can scan and automatically populate the information itself uh, minus the access code probably, but that just simplifies it for those as an FYI in case you're doing the setup. So rather than just manually doing it yourself, you can scan to have it auto-populate the information. You probably do have to put in the access code yourself, but it's good to know that you can scan for that information. So confirm. 
and it's all set up. So it is connected to the printer. You'll see the little message at the top. And let's go to the settings. So here's what you get. You get the familiar screen that looks a little bit like the X1C, um, the interface. And so you get pretty much all that graphical interface back uh, with some additional refreshes, I guess, with some additional options. So it's not bad at all. Okay, so let's see if I can, let's see what, dev what, files I have. So there is already a 3MF file on the LCD screen. I'm not sure exactly what that is, that sample file that comes with it. But let's go ahead and see if we can pull... Okay, so we're going to print a Benchy. Uh, I'm not sure how prepared this filament is. It's been sitting out for a while, so I'm not sure what the quality will stand out. But I do like that there is this little panda icon. So there is that graphical interface, and it does look like it is synced and working well. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like when it does the print, and how this thing turns out, and if the screen changes or anything while it's doing the printing itself. Okay, so as you can see, the Panda Touch from Big Tree Tech works amazingly well. It's easy to install, it's got an intuitive interface that most of us are used to, and it integrates perfectly with the Bamboo Lab interface. In addition to that, this amazing accessory also gives you that extra freedom to control your print jobs wirelessly. Now when you do do that, you do have to switch it onto battery, and you can see it works perfectly. And if you're someone who has multiple printers, this gives you the power to control and manage them all with a single device. Now for $59, I can't see why anyone who owns a P1P or a P1S shouldn't pick one up for themselves. Now on the flip side, the X1C and the A1 series of printers from Bamboo Lab already have nice LCDs, but this Panda Touch also works with them as well which means you can also control an army of up to 10 of those printers just with one of these. So this is also a nice addition to have regardless of which Bamboo Lab printer you have. Anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Now, if you don't have one of these, I'd highly recommend picking one up using my link in the description section below. It's definitely money well spent. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. And also make sure you do ring that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Finally, I do also want to thank Big Tree Tech for sending me out this Panda Touch to test out and review. It is an amazing piece of technology and a great accessory. Now, in addition to that, if you do have a Creality 3D printer or if you're looking for an accessory that uses Clipper, be sure to also check out Big Tree Tech's Clipper 7 Pad, which is a 7-inch LCD with built-in clipper that works with most 3D printers and is also just as easy to install and just as amazing to use. Anyways, I'll link both of these products in the description section below. And until next time, see ya.